Welcome back. For the second time in a week, a Wall Street bank has issued a cautious call on the U.S. stock market. This time at Citi, where strategists say long exposure to the S&P 500 is looking, quote, extended. They say positioning like this has often been followed by stock market slumps, averaging about 10 percent. Earlier this week, Goldman Sachs said the next decade of returns on the S&P 500 would likely be much more modest than what investors have grown accustomed to in recent years. Let's bring in for her take on the markets, Leslie Marks, Chief Investment Officer at McKenzie Investments. Leslie, great to see you as always. Nice to see you, Paul. What is your take on these markets? As the mar Albeit we were down yesterday, it looks like it, today could be a down day, but we are clearly in record high territory. Yeah. Well, then that was a bit of a dour setup, talking <laughs> about Citi's forecast and Goldman Sachs. And I think they're both coming at this sort of you know, from a different um, uh, angle, uh, City, you know, much more of a short term trading oriented talk about, you know, potential for a 10 percent correction from these levels. And let's just remind everybody that a 10 percent correction in equities is very normal. We've had a period of sustained um, upward momentum in, in stocks, particularly U.S. stocks, but even Canadian stocks um, without a significant correction lower volatility. So this is just normal course uh, for investing in, in equities or, or riskier assets. In the context of the Goldman Report, that one really talked about how um, the next year actually looked pretty good for equities, but long-term returns over the next decade would gravitate more towards uh, the norm or reversion to the mean because over the last 10 years, we've seen outsized returns for U.S. stocks. Now, we can't extrapolate that and say, well, that means that you know stocks are going to return 3% every year for the next 10 years. Of course, there are going to be bumps in the road. But the most important thing is for investors to stay invested and not try to get too cute because that's when they miss out on the best days in the market. Well, let's talk about earnings season, which is uh, we are now right in the heart of. The uh, banks have reported, the tech companies have reported for the most part, and now uh, the industrials are beginning to report. GM, uh, GE, Aerospace reporting uh, today, uh, TFI here in Canada. What are your thoughts mm -hmm. on some of the earnings we're seeing? Mm -hmm. we're seeing? Well, I think the interesting thing that we saw is, is what we saw out of GM's earnings, which really indicated, again, continued strength, really surprising people from the U.S. economy. And that's part of what is driving um, some of the concerns about the market. We've started to see bonds uh, fall as yields have risen. People think that the Fed is going to have to move more slowly than they had expected. We're probably looking at 25 basis point cuts now, not another 50 from the Fed. But I think at the end of the day, um, you know, seeing a steady U.S. economy is good for everybody. What would you expect from Canadian companies when uh, the next uh, quarter of Canadian earnings season rolls around? Well, I think it really depends on um, if the Canadian company is mostly focused on the Canadian economy right. or if it's more global or U.S. oriented. I think that, you know, the domestic economy has been weak for over a year now, and that's why we have um, a, a central bank that we think can be a little bit more aggressive with uh, rate cuts than certainly the Federal Reserve. But if you are more globally oriented, oriented or an exporter to the U.S., you've been really benefiting from a couple of things. One, um, the strength in the U.S. economy, and two, a weaker Canadian dollar. And uh, commodities are important to the Canadian stock market as well. Gold, uh, copper, um, uh, other base metals, uh, uh, all, all doing very well. Crude oil uh, doing less well, but uh, still holding in. What, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the commodity rally that we're seeing? Yeah, it's been interesting to watch the commodity rally. I mean, first of all, we'll take gold because it's sort of in, in a class uh, unto itself. Right. Very much um, related to, uh, um, you know, interest rate cuts and the uh, holding um, costs to, to hold uh, gold. So we see gold as not really so much economically related, um, but really much more of a, a sense of liquidity in, in, in the market. When I look at other commodities like copper or base metals in general, to me, that's more of the economic story and the fact that we have a very stable global economy. And that's generally good for base metals or economically sensitive uh, commodities. We also have a, a very attractive long term supply and demand picture where it's very difficult to bring on production in a base metal mine, even in gold as well. And so supply is, is not really growing out of control. Well, demand is still strong and we know that 
copper is going to play a big role in the energy transition. Turning to oil, I would say it's been a little bit more confusing. Um, oil has definitely been uh, trading uh, more like the economy is weaker than it is. And we've seen some blips in oil more related to geopolitical risk and tension in the Middle East. So I would say oil has been a much more confusing commodity for investing than uh, gold and the base metals, which have traded exactly as we would expect. Okay, the Bank of Canada is, uh, of course, going to make an announcement uh, uh, tomorrow. Uh, you and your colleagues expect a 50 basis point rate cut. Why so? We think that the data can really support a 50 basis point rate cut here in Canada. Our unemployment rate has uh, moved higher. GDP growth has not really come through to the extent that the bank thought it would in the last monetary policy report. But what I'm most interested in the decision tomorrow is to see what the bank is forecasting for the monetary policy report. because. Earlier in the year, they were really focused on strength coming back to the Canadian economy because of interest rate cuts in the second half of this year. And I just don't think we've really seen that. And they may have to recalibrate expectations. And that would be the case for the bank going 50 basis points. And I'm sure you've heard some people would even argue 75. But mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to see that. <laughs> we're starting to